to break free from the system. You must understand it first. The Matrix is not designed to optimize everybody's finances. It is not designed to give you the best life. It is designed to keep you at a certain level financially and spiritually. Worker class, to be precise. Look at the student loan system, and you will be clear as to what I am talking about. They give you loan to chase a university degree that is most likely not designed to give you a head start. On the contrary. It gives you a mediocre job so that you can pay off your debt for most of your youth. And by that time, you have already given up on your dreams. That's how the system breaks you. And the system is ancient. Not something modern. We have been given the concept of money, economics, working class and ruling class decades ago. It is all there in the Sumerian tablets. For the ones who are awake, Sumerian tablets are eye-opening. But I will make a separate video about the father of this matrix, from whom all the systematic slavery comes from. But what you need to know is how the system works. And a spiritual foundation to stand upon. You see, if you are spiritually awake, then you can see the system hiding in plain sight. Unconscious masses are so lost in the matrix that they don't even know it exists. They look past it because we are born into it. But if you look closely, you will see that the structure of the system is designed to keep the unconscious people working for the ruling class. That is why the education system is so ridiculous and outdated. And sometimes downright teaching you the wrong things. What I am trying to say is this. You need to educate yourself. And see how the system works. If you can't see it, you can't beat it. You have heard this many times by now that you need assets. You need business. To be extremely rich. But in my opinion, what you need is to be awake. Don't think for a second that a millionaire is out of the matrix or has beaten the system. As long as he is asleep, he is working for the system. What you need is to understand is a spiritual concept. That is, the universe is always in abundance. Lack is the product of the system. You are being taught lack. You are being taught scarcity so that you can always look at the system to provide for you. Instead of using the powers given to you by the creator of all to manifest your abundance. Abundance begins in the mind. And it only comes from knowing who you really are. If you believe what the system is telling you, that you are a tiny human being that needs to beg God or system for breadcrumbs, then that is what you will have. But if you know your divine origin, the matrix has no power over you. It controls you with the fear of scarcity. And if you know who you are, that scarcity concept seems absurd. But we have been born into this indoctrination. That money doesn't grow on trees. You better save what you have because you might lose it all. The goal of the system is to keep us in survival mode. So that we do not ever get anywhere close to spirituality. And realize our true self. Because nobody cares about spirituality when they are starving. Nonetheless, if you aren't aware of what is going on, then you are in it. That is what is called a matrix. Complete immersion to the point of believing it to be the truth. The universe has no shortage of anything. And our divine self can create a steady stream of abundance for us, so long as we entrust it to do so. Your divine self is under your command. So, if you are immersed in the system. It has no choice but to play along with your game of scarcity and their game of slavery. That's how it works. So, how I brainwashed myself was to use the very techniques of the system. Repetition. I affirm every single night that I am earning a lavish, steady, dependable income, doing something I love, with ease. If you show someone scarcity all their life, they will believe it. So, if you brainwash yourself persistently in regards to abundance, you will end up believing in it as well. All you need to do is persist enough to make it habitual for you. Then it becomes your subconscious program. Then abundance in life is a matter of routine. I no longer look at price tags when I buy groceries. I have seen significant changes to my thought patterns regarding money and abundance. That is, less scarcity-centric thoughts and more abundance-related thoughts. It's automatic. And it is reflecting in my life. Simply because I persist with my vision of abundance. Brainwashing myself shamelessly and unapologetically. That I am earning a lavish, steady, dependable income, doing something I love, with ease. Now I am in a state where I can call myself to be financially stable. Thus, semi-free from the system. I said semi, because we are living inside the system of this planet. You can't escape the system because you keep your money in the bank. You can only navigate through the system smartly and use it to your advantage. The more diverse your income sources are, the harder you are to pin down. For that, please allow me to introduce you to Masterworks. 
a great potential, not yet completely monopolized by the system, to diversify your income. Masterworks is one of those unconventional venues where the potential return is extremely lucrative. Because it allows you to invest in extremely high-value contemporary art from famous artists, like Picasso and Banksy. In fact, Masterworks handed back over $25 million to their users last year. And the appreciation of contemporary art has even outpaced the S&P 500 for the last 26 years. Remember, that is the standard for most people's investments, as ingrained in us by the matrix. Choosing Masterworks as a potential wealth multiplier means you can invest in high-value art that is a real hard asset. Unlike money in the bank that depreciates by the day due to inflation, as intended by the system. In fact, every single Masterworks exits to date of return to profit to their investors. With the last three returning 10, 13, and 35% net. When you join the 630,000 plus Masterworks users, you can sell your shares on the Masterworks secondary market if you don't desire to keep them. Not everyone can invest in contemporary art, but Masterworks lets you invest in a slice of it so you can still see a potential return. Masterworks has done so well that they even have a wait list, but you can skip it by clicking on the link below. It's an amazing potential wealth multiplier that may put you on the path towards financial freedom. You have been brainwashed by the system to work for the system. So you can instead brainwash yourself to get what you want out of the system. Play the game of the matrix. And you will win. That's how people at the top are winning. But they are spiritually bankrupt. Or their ego is out of control. Thus, they only care about themselves. The system designed by overdeveloped egos will never work for the betterment of everybody. Therefore, you need to re-educate yourself. So that you can see the matrix. If you can't see it, you can't beat it. Learn how to make yourself independent in your finances. Diversify your income. Buy assets. Try to have assets and residence in multiple countries if you can. But I am sure most of you have heard it all. But what you have not heard is the mental part of the matrix. You can have all the knowledge of how the economy works, but if you are still operating on the programming installed in you by the system, you will fail. For example, fear of the unknown. Most people look for jobs because they want security. Because the system has installed in them the programming of scarcity and fear. Then they crash economy from time to time so that people can go back to zero. Survival mode. A person in survival mode wants nothing but safety and security. Do you see? This is how the matrix works. The financial matrix was never built to give everybody the best life. But that doesn't mean you can't have it. Matrix has only power over your mind, if you let it. If you can't see it, then you are a puppet. This is why they want to suppress human consciousness as well. If you don't know who you are, you need them to tell you who you are. So, they can make you into whatever they want. It is time for humanity to raise in consciousness. And see the matrix for what it is. Everybody then, will be able to live how they want. You can only change your life if you think for yourself. Otherwise, you are living in the matrix and you don't have free will.